Hello everyone and welcome to the broadcast for today. My name is Natalie Ledwell and uh, I am the co-founder of a personal development company called Mind Movies and I am also the best-selling author of a book called Never In Your Wildest Dreams. Uh, now I do these broadcasts a couple of times a week uh, just to give you some tips and some, um, some hints and some information that will hopefully make a difference in your life and hopefully if not in your life definitely in your day. <laughs> So uh, if you are here on the broadcast, uh, make sure that um, you say hi, um, let me know where you're from, so I give you a little cheerio and say hello to you. Um, and today we're going to be talking about miracles. I'm really looking forward to this one that's on, you know, how we, how, well, five steps that we can take to invite more miracles into our life. Okay, so uh, that's what we'll be discovering today. So before I get into this awesome subject today, let me say hello to uh, Lorraine Gofton. Hi, Lorraine. How are you? Donna Southern. Good to see you, Donna. Uh, Diana Creighton. Hi, Diana. Um, I've got Larshan, I think it is, with the love hearts. Fantastic. Um, Christine Young. Good to see you here, Christine. Uh, so uh, let me know where you're from as well so I can give you a little cheerio. I love it how, especially at this time of the day, it's interesting. We seem to have people that are able to come in from all over the world. Um, so I love it when we can sort of say hi to people from Ireland and Estonia and Australia and, and all over the place. So uh, like I said today, we're going to be talking about how to invite uh, miracles or more miracles into our life. And I'm going to give you five specific steps on how to do that. Um, now I also have you here, I just want to remind you that if you have an idea or there is a subject that you would love for me to cover on these broadcasts, just let me know. Uh, just put a comment in the comment box here and uh, my team and I will make sure that we, we get some information together and we're able to, um, to uh, cover that subject for you. All right. So let's have a look. Uh, five steps to be able to invite more, um, more miracles into your life. And let me just, oh, I see what's going on. So uh, let's see. We've got some more people coming in. Uh, I've got Ken Meekin from the UK. Good to see you, Ken. Don McGrogan. Hi, Don. Um, I've got Donna McGriff from Little Rock in Arkansas. Good to see you here again, Donna. Always great to see you here, actually. Uh, Marilyn Douglas. Hello. Uh, Joanne Tilly. Good to see you here as well. Um, let's see. Uh, I've got Susanna is from uh, Susanna McInish, I think, is from London. Hi. Uh, Christine Young is from Dublin. <laughs> Terry Collier, good to see you here again, Terry. It's always great to see you. Ooh, Lashin is from Casablanca in Morocco. Hi, good to see you here. Um, Elizabeth Nicolia is um, from Switzerland. Hi, good to see you here, Elizabeth. Um, I've got, uh, uh, got Andrew Zaffoli is from Cave Creek in Arizona. Hey, um, Marilyn is from the Gold Coast. Ah, Gold Coast in Australia, good to see you. Another Aussie, it's so good. Um, Tina Dunn from Mississippi. Uh, we've got uh, Suzanne Blanchfield uh, is from Ireland. Uh, good to see Ireland's being represented today. It's fantastic. Uh, who else have we got? We've got uh, Jan Russell from Sweden. Good to see you again, Jan. Um, Thomas uh, Holgren is also here from Sweden. Uh, Nick Clark from Central Coast in Australia. Good to see you here, Nick. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God, there's so many people. This is so great. All right. Let me get into, some, into, some, uh, into the juice, into the meat for today. So we're talking about uh, inviting miracles into our life. So miracles, are, it's interesting when we talk about miracles because, you know, what is the definition of a miracle? So sometimes we can go, okay, well, a miracle is something that's unexpected, that's amazing, that, you know, that you would never in your wildest dreams expect to be able to create. Um, but miracles to me are those, um, those amazing moments in our life that uh, create joy, um, that have us feeling blessed and grateful for our life, um, and uh, that really brightened not just our life, but the lives of the people and the loved ones around us. So for me, that's what a miracle is. Um, and so when we want to be intentional about inviting miracles into our life, um, there are five really easy steps that we can take to be able to do that. Um, so the first one uh, is to set an intention. Okay, so get clear about what it is that you want. Um, and for me, when, when you're setting an intention, um, I believe that it should be a, a, like a statement uh, and uh, it should start with the words, no matter what. So no matter what, I uh, am inviting, you know, wealth into my life. No matter what, um, I am achieving the career of my dreams. You know, no matter what, I am attracting and, and creating a beautiful, loving and supportive relationship. So whatever that is, 
Um, and really, for me, when I have an intention statement like that, I highly recommend that in the morning, at least for a week or maybe even a little bit more, uh, that when you wake up in the morning and go into the bathroom and you're looking at yourself in the mirror, look at yourself in the eye and recite your intention statement. Um, and when you do that, uh, and you do it with so much conviction and so much resolve that this is going to happen, you know, this is what you want, this is your intention, you're very clear about it, um, even in doing that, the wheels of the universe start turning. Uh, and uh, and you are basically telling the universe, hey, I'm not messing around this time. I, I'm, I'm very serious and this is what I want to create. So set your intention first and be clear about what you want. You don't have to be specific, but you do have to be clear. And what that means is you don't have to go, okay, I, I want, to, I want uh, this career, I want this job in this building with that office. You don't have to be that specific. But, you know, maybe your intention is, you know, to step into a career that you would feel passionate about, where you feel like you're making a difference, that really makes your heart sing. And, you know, and there's a million different ways that that can manifest. So start with an intention like that. Uh, number two is to visualise, okay. And we, you know, we're all about that here at My Movies, being able to visualise the end result. Because when you can see where you want to end up, you know, you see that 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 end result and the picture of what you want to create in the end, um, then it makes it very easy for you to recognise uh, the gifts and the help that the universe has given you along the way. Um, and it also helps you to make decisions a lot easier too because, you know, you recognise when something comes up and it excites you, you go, oh, this is in alignment with my end vision. This is, you know, what I've, that I've, what I've been visualising. So you recognise it as the right decision to take, you know, the right choice to make. You know, so when you're visualising, as you know, I do a lot of work with Dr. Joe Dispenza uh, and he talks about dimensionalising your, your visualisations, which means that, you know, when you go into a visualisation, instead of like having a movie where you're like a character or you go from scene to scene to scene and you're sort of switching back and forth, just choose one scene and go really deep. Use all of your senses. You know, what are you smelling? What are you feeling? What are you tasting? You know, let's say that uh, one of the, you know, your goal or your intention is to um, to go on a, on a, a lovely holiday uh, and you're at, at the beach. So, you know, think about walking on the sand and feeling the sand between your toes and, you know, hearing the waves crashing on the shore and smelling that beautiful ocean smell and feeling the sun, the warmth of the sun on your face. So bring in as many senses as you can into that visualisation to make it as real as possible for your subconscious mind because remember, it doesn't know the difference between what you see through your eyes and what you keep replaying vividly in your mind. Um, and so the more that it realises or thinks that, that this is your reality, it starts to create new neural pathways, starts to change the way that you think and your thoughts and your actions become in alignment with this amazing future and this vision that you want to create, okay? Um, okay, so let's see. Who will, let's say, some, say a few more hellos while we're here. Um, I've got Georges from Egypt. Wow. Hi, Georges. Great to see you here. Uh, I have Shannon Glover from Kansas here in the US. Hi. Um, I have Rosella from, uh, from Italy. Hi, Rosella. Good to see you. Um, Leota's from Orlando. Uh, we've got Alex from St. Petersburg. Wow. Great to see you here. Um, Jean Hope. Good to see you here as well. Joni Ireland is from New Jersey. Uh, I've got Ken Meakin. No matter what my label is, booming 22 nominations. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> wow, I've got Haim from Saudi Arabia. Hi, Haim. Good to see you here. Uh, Amy Jackson is from Canada. Um, I've got Marianne from Britain. I've got Claudio from sunny Costa Rica. Um, and I've got Starlet from Texas. Hi, everyone. Wow, we really are covering the globe today, aren't we? <laughs> So we're talking about how do we um, invite miracles into our life. Um, we've got five steps. So the first step was to set an intention. Uh, the second step was to visualise, you know, what that looks like and do that as often as we possibly can. Um, the next step, number three, is to believe. Actually, these next two, number three and number four, uh, are very intertwined um, and I think are two of the most important ingredients when it comes to uh, inviting miracles, you know, creating the life that we want. Uh, so belief is very, very important um, because if we don't believe it's going to happen, then, of course, we know that it won't. We have to have some belief. So how do you build your belief? Obviously, your visualisation is one way to be able to do that. You know, Wayne Dyer has, uh, you know, most people go, well, I'll, I'll see it, I'll believe it when I see it. 
you know, and he always used to have a saying that I will, I'll, I'll, I'll see it when I believe it. So he was more like, um, you know, I know it will, will come to fruition if I believe it to be so. So belief is really important. You know, uh, the other way that you can really help to build your belief is to uh, create what we call an evidence journal. So as you're going along, you know, and working towards this goal or to this beautiful life that you want to create, every time something falls into place for you, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a chance meeting, a brilliant idea, um, an opportunity that comes your way, something that you know you didn't specifically create, but it was attractive to you and it's in alignment with what you want, and it's a gift from the universe um, or a gift from God, then I would write that down in an evidence journal so that when the going gets tough and you're finding it, you know, your, your belief is waning, you can always go back to your evidence journal and go, see, I have way too much evidence to, to believe that the universal God doesn't have my back because I know that they do. Okay, so to really, you know, make sure that you, you build that belief. Uh, the other thing which goes hand in hand with this is um, expectation. Um, and when you can surround a future event uh, with expectation uh, um, and gratitude, what you're saying to yourself and to the universe is that it's already done. I know it's coming. It's on its way. It just hasn't materialized just yet. Um, and so what you're doing is, is believe, surrounding that future event with this expectation and eliminating doubt, building belief, and making sure that uh, you uh, uh, eliminate things like stress and anxiety uh, around that future event because you just know, you know, you know that everything's happening for you, not to you. You understand that the universe has your back. You know that, you know that everything's happen happening in divine timing exactly when it's supposed to. Okay, so, you know, you really need to have that expectation as well um, it ex that it's actually going to happen. All right, and then we have one more, number five, which is uh, really interesting because this one, uh, we can be doing everything right, but if we, if we skip on number five, um, then sometimes we'll miss some pretty amazing opportunities. And number five is to observe what's going on around you. Um, so, you know, when you are a vibrational match to the things that you want to create, um, then what happens is that things start to come into your life, into your peripheral, into, into your world that's going to help you do it. Um, now, if you're, if you're not aware and you're not observing and you're not paying attention, these things could pass you by. So make sure that you, you, know, you keep an eye out, that you're watching what's going on around you and really make sure that you're able to be able to you know, um, take advantage of those opportunities as they come up for you, okay? Um, okay, so let's say a few more hellos. Oh, I've got um, uh, Agnes Scar, I think it is, I'm not sure, from Scotland. Hi. Uh, Linda Myers is here from um, British Columbia. Good to see you here. Uh, and I've got Deb Brooks. Uh, Susan Ralph. Hi, Susan. Susan's from Australia and she's often here, so it's good to see you here, Susan. But Jennifer, Jennifer's saying, love your teachings, so practical and easy to apply into daily life and creating changes in every aspect in a positive way towards my vision of me. Uh, my life, you know, to see the ripple effect around me. Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. And, and, and this is the purpose of the broadcast that we do is try to keep it really simple, try to, you know, um, and one of my gifts is that I'm able to break things down. I know how to apply the law of attraction. I know how to invite miracles, but I can break it down into easy appli applicable steps that makes it really easy for you to be able to do that. Now, um, in one of the programs that I created, it's called LOA 101, which basically means Law of Attraction 101. And uh, it's, it's my way of being able to break down the mechanics of how to consistently so, uh, um, apply the Law of Attraction in a way that's going to work to your favor. Um, and for me, it's just breaking it down into simple steps. Um, and, uh, and it means that it will be consistently working for you. So I know my team are going to put a little link here for you to click on so you can find out all about that program. Um, it is one of our most popular programs that we have because it is so simple. You could um, go through the, the, you know, the, the steps in one afternoon and then be applying the steps as easy as you could be applying the steps that I shared with you today. Um, so that you are consistently, you know, moving towards an amazing life for yourself. So, uh, so guys, that is all for me for today. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who joined us, joined me. Oh, I can also see I've got um, 
Uh, I've got Lee Cage from Zimbabwe. Wow, and I've got Carol Campbell from Jamaica. We really have covered the globe today, so I want to thank everyone who's been able to join us. Um, it has been my pleasure to do the, the broadcast for you. I will be back again on Friday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This seems to be a really good time to be able to do the broadcast, um, to really be able to bring in a lot of people from all over the world. So have a fabulous rest of the day or evening or morning, wherever you are, and I look forward to chatting to you all again on Friday. Thanks, everyone, and bye for now.